I'm Patrick Bailey with IQList.com. Today is August 3rd, 2020. And this video, I'm going to be showing off a square pot that I made for my wife. Okay, this has been an interesting year. We've kind of done so many things. I forgot half the stuff I've done. It's just been a crazy weird year. Now, earlier this year, um, I did a live video. And as part of that live video, I just thought it'd be interesting to design something I'd been thinking about at the time. Actually, my wife had requested of me. And so we kind of mocked something up and got something done. And I, if I recall correctly, after the video, I did some changes afterwards. And the idea was I was making a, a potted plant for my wife. And one thing that drives her nuts recently about a lot of the potted plants she has, a lot of pan, uh, pots she has, it doesn't drain very well. So what I did in this design is I have a little, well, maybe I'll show it here in a minute. Um, there's a drain here at the very end. I don't know if you can see that little edge very well. Um, but it also kind of cuts in pretty well. Uh, you know, I'll, let me just throw the 3D, show the 3D image here in a minute. But we got it all working. I printed one out for her, and she liked it. And then recently, she just started asking for more. So we've grown a few plants in them. And so now I'm just printing a bunch out for her. And she seems to like them really well. So um, I decided to post it on post it on Prusa Printers. So I posted on Prusa Printers, and I'll put a link in the show notes. It happens to be 37734, just a square pot. Um, and you can resize it a bit. I have it like about a half size. It works pretty well. The size it is, it works pretty well. And it prints just fine on a Prusa uh, Mini. And with that, let me go over the numbers here real quick. So uh, the numbers, it took 21 hours and 28 minutes to print. It took 0.126 cents of electricity. And it weighs 0.626 kilograms. So it's a little beefy. Uh, that comes up to $5.24 cents of Five dollars and twenty-four cents worth of material, and overall it cost five dollars and thirty-seven cents to print. But not too bad considering how much pots cost. And so far, my wife's a big fan of it. So uh, with that, let me go. You know, let me go do a. a let me go show um, the three D of it, three D print. Let me go show the slicer version of it real quick, so you can kind of see where that drainage is. And then uh, let me go show up, uh, do a little video real quick, showing it up close. Okay, so here we are looking at the slicer, and what I did is a couple ideas. One, I wanted it to drain really well, so I kind of angled the whole bottom. So here as you go down, you can see it kind of angles to here, and I cut it a little tray, if you will, a little, little gap here so it can kind of shoot out. So right now, you can see there's where the hole is, but everything drains down to that side and out. And so far, I think my wife's been liking that. It's been draining pretty well, and she'll probably give her opinion on it here in a minute. But that's the 3D design. And then the rest of it that might be interesting is as you go up, you know, as we know, you can't just go straight out. So we can go straight in like that. But then after that, I'm going up at a 45 degree angle to kind of get this design that I that seems to work for us. It's kind of interesting. Uh, with that, let's go get some close up views and see what it's like. Okay, I got outvoted. My wife doesn't want to be the ringmaster here, so we'll just show a couple that we've got. So here's just the one we recently printed. So beautiful, elegant. It's got a little drain down there. And then we got another little miniature one that I accidentally printed a small one by accident, so my daughter took it. But I guess this one, even though it's smaller, it's still pretty draining pretty well. So you got her little succulent, succulent in there. And then we got a couple other ones that we've had going for a while, but then we just, I printed this one the other day. It's a little dirty. Uh, but, according to my wife, I guess she just puts some rocks on the bottom, puts the dirt on the bottom, and I guess it's been draining pretty well. And there are seeds in there. And there are seeds in there, so we'll see how it grows. Sage. But, you know, it's a little more convenient than going to the store to buy in them. Plus, pots are kind of expensive these days, I guess. So, I mean, five bucks seems, I would guess it's what a pot would cost, but a pot like this costs more, right? More than that. Like ten bucks or something? That seems like a bit much. But anyway, so it's not it's a, not a losing money factor. So it's, you know, you save a little bit of money, but also, see here, there's nothing on the bottom. We have no drains on the bottom. So it's kind of nice. You um, can fill it up, drain it on the side, because she's, she's had a problem with our other pots. We have some other pots that have no drains. We're just like drilling holes in the bottom, and all that stuff's dying. But so far, we've had these other ones, I don't know, a couple months. And even so, they haven't, you have, have you had to clear them out at all? They've just been yeah. draining just fine. Yeah. Okay, they've been draining just fine. And then you have one spot to concentrate on, and so you don't have it dripping everywhere. You can put it wherever you want. You know it's going to come out that one spot, and you're good to go. Water builds up here. Water builds up here? Yeah. 
But from, it's fine. Just from, okay, so she said the water builds up here, yeah, but like from, I, oh, when you, when it kind of go cascades over. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, well, she says water builds up here and then she can just dump it and it comes off. Not a big yeah. deal, I guess. Or I guess it'd probably dry off pretty quick too on the outside. Yeah. Um, but hey, maybe it's another reason to angle it on that side too. I don't know. But eh, easy to wipe it down. Yeah, or just like don't the, overpour it. The, they have a good design. They look very modern. They look modern. You line them up. Oh, yeah, that's another thing. Nice. It's nice about being square is you can just... You can line them all up and squish them together if you want to do something, so. Put the white one in there, too. Modern. Oh, there we go. Put them all. Yep. Can line them up real quick, so. Make yourself look fancy. Different colors. And the different colors, so. They sit in my window cell. So. Yep, and right now she's saying they sit in her window cell, so, but also we, we take them inside and outside a lot because of different places in our house. So it's nice they're so small you can easily take them outside. So she's been doing that a lot to make sure they grow. Mm -hmm. So that is the potted plants. Yay. Square pot, which is a very imaginative name on my part. So anyway, if you need some pots, you can go download them and print them out. And the nice thing is they drain well. I'm not a, I'm not a plant guy, my wife is, and so she's <laughs> much happier with these than what we had before for sure. Okay, the next video coming up is probably going to be in a neat backyard thing I designed in Open SCAD. Kind of a spacer for my pipes that you can spike down to the ground. Now the neat thing is you can adjust it by just by just changing a few parameters. So uh, I'll expect that video here in the next week or so.